my friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. It is Saturday, April 9th. Another cold day last night on the farm. It got down to 26 degrees, but it's already climbed up to 50 degrees, and that's just in an hour and a half. So it's, it's risen, no, what is that, 24 degrees in an hour and a half? Oh my gosh, it's just nuts. The weather is crazy. Yesterday's shop talk. Well, it's kind of like this. It was good and bad. <laughs> there were several goods, more goods than bads. Unfortunately, the bads kind of stopped it cold in the tracks. <laughs> but, you know, the new resolution and the new settings I made seemed to work pretty good. With our latency here on the cell service that we have, uh, by the way, we have T-Mobile, uh, that home internet service. And I put an outside tower that you've probably seen before in a video or two, and it's up like 40 feet in the air, pointed at the cell tower. And I have a cell booster on that. That's what made all the difference on my internet service. So my internet service for cell tower internet service in the country, when you're really far away from a cell tower and down in a deep valley, for all that it considered, our cell service or our internet service is borderline excellent really it's very good but it's still slow when it comes to streaming so I made all these different changes and settings and I upped the resolution and we did our show yesterday morning and we performed our uh, three songs and up to that point it was pretty darn good then I did a little bit of a demonstration on how to tie these straps and I even think that went okay. Uh, I'm not sure everybody got anything out of that, but uh, at least you kind of understand the concept. And if you can follow how I tied the hangman's noose, you should be able to accomplish it. So even that went good. Uh, then we were going to do a question and answer follow-up after that. And right about that time when I was showing this, I guess the peg head must have touched the mic. I didn't hit it hard, I can tell you that. But that was enough to trigger that it just said, see ya, and it left. And static and everything, of course, and it was unrecoverable. In fact, I couldn't get it to work until I finally rebooted the whole PC. Once I did that, it worked fine. I have no idea why that uh, Blue Yeti microphone would have been that sensitive, or maybe it was some connection that was just barely there, and then when I touched it, it just made the connection go away. You know, I don't know. I really don't. I unplugged it, plugged it back in. I did all the normal stuff, tried everything you could think of to get it to come back, and finally just rebooted the whole PC and it started working again. So, yeah. You, you could call it Rose's Law. There's really, Murphy was just earlier than me. <laughs> if, if I'd have been first, it would be Rose's Law. I guarantee you. Because <laughs> anything that can will every single time, every time. Yeah, it's just amazing. As I've said before, though, I'm the luckiest man on the whole planet on the big things in life, but on those little things, you better look out. It's pretty crazy. It's just nuts. Well, enough of that. Um, but I think, you know, because of those changes working so well, and if I can even make any more improvements at all, a lot of my daily vlogs might start being live, which I think would be kind of fun and kind of cool. Plus, it would save me a lot of editing. Of course, I have to live with all my mistakes that way. <laughs> but I live with them on my shop box, so I'm sure I can live with them on a daily basis. I'm opening up this as we speak. And what is this? Well, it's the two new vials that I said I ordered for my um, uh, airbrush. So, and I ordered a, a new little tip thing here for the airbrush. I uh, don't know if you can see that very well, that little brass thing. I've always wondered how that thing has survived all these years. So I just ordered another one just to have it on for a spare. Because it seems like that gets stuck in there and then you got to get it out. And, yeah, well, whatever. So at least I have that as a spare. So on this mandolin, 
it's looking good. I am gonna airbrush it. Someone said you better do something with the F-holes. Well, yeah, I always, what I do is I always just fill the whole inside with newspaper strips. I just throw strips of newspaper in there. That covers everything. That way the overspray that goes in won't hurt anything. Plus, I prefer to let the overspray go in around the sides of the F-holes. I don't, you know, I'm not trying to protect the edges. In fact, I'd just soon they get covered. Anyway, um, that's why I do what I do. But now, with the airbrush stuff here, I am going to, you know, I'm going to call it artist eyes sculpt in uh, some more detail. I'm pretty darn happy with it. I really kind of like the look of it. I hope you do. To me, especially uh, live, it's very pleasing. But I can also tell what it's going to look like once I get the binding on it. And the reason I did not put the binding on it is because the binding's real wood. It's maple. And anything causes that to color, you know. So I have to do all the coloring before I put that wood binding on, or otherwise it would just be a total disaster. But that's difficult at best because then when you put the binding on, then you've got all the other issues that come with that. Um, you know, because then you got to kind of keep it really neat and clean, otherwise you mess up what you've already done. Did I ever tell you it's not easy being me? <laughs> And yeah, and every, everybody has a solution, you know, and they, you know, the CNC would fix that, you know. Well, no kidding. Did you read the title? <laughs> Built by a human. Most CNCs don't speak English. I mean, they really don't. Uh, in fact, all they know is ones and zeros when you get right down to it. Uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to getting that finished. And I'm not going to show that this weekend. I'll probably show that on Monday's vlog if I get that far. Or I'll show doing it on Monday's vlog. One of the two. So, uh, I was at a jam last night. And I uh, remembered a tune that uh, someone... Well, as a matter of fact, it was Gary, the guitar player. He, he asked me, he said, Why don't you do that uh, tune you used to do? The natural thing to do. So... You know what? I think I'm going to just do it for you guys. I tried it last night after not doing it for several years. I got through it, but quite honestly, I missed a word or two. So I'm going to redeem myself right now, I hope. So here's It's a Natural Thing to Do by Larry Sparks. That's where we heard it. I assume, I don't even know if he wrote it or, or who wrote it, but I'm sure you can look that up if you want to. I'm going to do it in the key of B-flat if you want to try to play along. Got, I'll tell you, it's got one tricky part in the um, chorus, and it, it moves chords really fast, so maybe you can watch my hands and see what I'm doing, because it does change unusually weird in, in one spot. Go on and tell me you don't love me anymore. me like you heard me before I'll find a reason to look away when you're untrue because I love you it's the natural thing to do here we go no how you treat me I'll stand the test until you see this love of mine stands out above the rest I'll be there to mend the pieces when he breaks your heart in two because I love you it's a natural thing to do If we could only just relive on yesterday When love was blooming like the flowers that bloomed in May But I'm only wishing For a thing that can't be true Because
because I love you. It's the natural thing to do. No matter how you treat me, I'll stand the test until you see this love of mine stands out above the rest. I'll be there to mend the pieces when he breaks your heart in two because I love you it's the natural thing to do it's the natural thing to do by the one and only Larry Sparks in Bluegrass. Hope you enjoyed that. Well, I'm gonna keep it short today since it's Saturday and I need to get to onto my taxes and, and if I'm gonna do some airbrush work, I need to do that too. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on Monday. Yeah.